This is part two on the missing Air Algeria plane. And the source is my yahoo.fr page on my computer. And this is from the Reuters service. And the journalist is named Hamid Hamid Ul Ahmed. Alger Reuters, that's Algiers, Algeria. A manager of civil aviation in Algeria has conf uh, confirmed Thursday that an MD-83 Air Algeria plane doing the flight AH-5017 between Ouagadougou and Algeria with 110 passengers, including at least 50 French and six team members, had crashed. The crash happened in the north of Mali. The charter company, which is Spanish, Swift Air, announced this morning that they lost contact with one of its MD-83s, which had been arranged to use by Air Algeria. According to the Algerian press agency APS, contact was lost one hour after the takeoff from Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso. In a note posted on its website, Swift Air declared that the plane, which was 18 years old, had taken off at 1.17 local time in Burkina Faso, which they note is 1.17 GMT, and that it was supposed to land in Algiers, that's Algiers in Algeria, at 5.10 in the morning, which is 4.10 GMT, but it never got there. The last contact with the plane took place at 1.55 GMT while the plane was going over Gao in Mali, said an Algerian manager. But the authorities in Burkina Faso say that the flight had been taken in charge, you know, was being monitored by the control tower of Niamey in Niger, Nigeria at 1.38, 1 1.38 GMT and that the last contact with the plane took place just after 3.30 GMT. At Niamey, one affirms to not have had any contact at, of, with the plane. At least 50 French were on the passengers, and this is a French story in French, so they will mention that, uh, said a representative from the Algerian company in Burkina Faso during a press conference in Ouagadougou. Kara Turkey added that all, all the passengers were in transit and were supposed to thus go to Europe and the, the Middle East or Canada. So they were going to transfer. You know, they were going to change. Change planes. Pick up a new flight to a new destination. He said that the list of passengers consisted of, besides the 50 French, 24 people from Burkina Faso, 8 Lebanese, 4 Algerians, 2 people from Luxembourg, a Belgian, a Swiss, a Nigerian, someone from Cameroon, someone from the Ukraine, and someone from Romania. Some managers, uh, some Lebanese managers, spoke of as many as 10 on board. There was a sandstorm. The crew members were Spanish, according to the pilots 
on the SEPLA line. The pilot had asked to change his route at 138 GMT because of a, a tempest. You know, that's like a really bad storm. Uh, said the Minister of Burkina Faso of Transportation, Jean Bertin Ue Draugo. At Bamako, the Malian capital, oh, and fair use for this, please, YouTube, a diplomat declared that the north of the country had been struck by a powerful storm of sand overnight. 200, oh, two Mirage 2000 French, I don't know what that is, based in Africa, were mobilized to go search. Which the press learned from one of the top people in the French military. The French Ministry of Foreign Affairs declared that the French authorities were totally mobilized from Paris to the Crisis Center to Algeria and Ouagadougou where their ambassadors are in constant contact with the local authorities and with the airline company. According to the database, on internet airfleets.net. Swift Air owns four MD 83s, which are all between 18 and 26 years old. The engines are made by Pratt and Whitney from United Technologies. McDonnell Douglas, which had been acquired by Boeing, stopped the production of this plane in. 1999 of the MD-80. I guess that includes that. I don't know. The last catastrophe, air catastrophe, striking Air Algeria goes back to 2003 when one of its planes crashed a little bit after its takeoff from Tamanranset in the south of Algeria. The accident killed 102 people. Last February, 77 people died when an airplane, it was a military transport airplane, crashed in a mountain in the east of the country. Okay, give some names here. Patrick Markey, Daniel Flynn, David Lewis, Julien Toyer, Tracy, Tracy Rusinski, Tim Heffer, Marine Panettiere, Jean Stéphane Bros, and Guy Kerivel for the French service worked on this. Okay, it's very sad. I'm sorry about it. Uh, I hope you listen to part one and what I feel about some stuff. Thank you very much. Bye.